What's up, insiders? We're going Dice Man today, yeah! I got the Vaporesso Aurora Play. It's a Zippo-style mod. The big question is, though, is it better than the original Aurora, which I reviewed in written form quite some time ago? Make sure you watch the whole video, find out exactly what I think. Let's check this thing out. It's one of those Zippo types of mods. See what I'm talking about? Kind of cool, right? You flip it open, and you vape right there. Kind of neat. In order to pull this pot out, you just give it a little wiggle like that. You can see mine says sample. Nice clear pod, 2 ml capacity. You can see your coil right through it. That coil is not replaceable. Once you're done with the pod, you throw the whole thing out. The drip tip does not come out either. So just be aware of that. You can't move it or take it out. Nice gold-plated contacts on the bottom right there. That is your fill port right there. It's a valve type of fill port. You kind of push your bottle into it. I'll show you in a minute how to fill it up. But nice looking clear, simple pod. I definitely like that. Let's go over the mod real quick. You got this thing right here that kind of makes that click like a Zippo lighter, right? You can see your two gold plated contacts on the bottom right there. Let's shut this for a second. There is your window so you can see your juice level. On the side over here, you have your on and off button and your micro USB charging port. I mean, it just looks like a big ass Zippo. It really does. It doesn't look like, you know, like anything crazy. It's kind of neat looking. All right, I wanted to show a quick size comparison between the new Aurora Play and the old one. You can see the old one has a more traditional Zippo style look. Definitely have to look twice to realize that it's not a Zippo, where this one, I don't know, has more of a like, it just doesn't look as traditional as a as a regular Zippo for anybody who's smoked before or used a Zippo. The other key difference is the original had this swivel out the mouthpiece that was a little bit of a pain in the ass to use because you had to kind of swivel it out, right? Um, this one has a straight mouthpiece. So you don't have to swivel anything out. The other main difference is this one had sort of a tank situation going on here. And the other one is more of an actual pod, as you can see. See, more of an actual pod. So there are some big differences between the two, but they have the same type of footprint and form factor. I really couldn't think of anything else to compare this to. I mean, this is such a unique form factor. There's not a lot of things that you can compare it to. So I decided to compare it to the Vupu Panda and the Joytech Dolphin. I mean, you can see the Panda is much more bulbous. This thing is definitely slimmer. They're right around the same height with the drip tip included, but just totally different form factors. This definitely feels more round. This is more squarish with rounded edges. Now, the other one is the Joytech Dolphin. Again, you know, didn't really know what I should compare this to. Joytech Dolphin's definitely taller with the drip tip, right? But, and also rounder. This one is definitely slimmer and more pocketable. Let me show you how to fill this thing up. Juice we're going to be using today is Cloudy Crystals Tobacco Cream. I just had their cereal bar, Nick Salt, and it's fantastic. So I'm looking forward to trying the tobacco cream. They gave me a bunch of these samples over in Brooklyn. Let me show you how to fill this thing up. Take the pod, locate the valve, take your juice bottle, and just push and squeeze. See it right there? See it going? Push and squeeze. Now you're all filled up with Nick Salt. Maybe take a few dry pulls. Let that coil get saturated. Don't vape on it right away. Once your pod's all filled up, you just pop it in just like that. You can see it fits beautifully. Five clicks, and it's on. Now you're ready to vape. This has basically got a low, medium, and high setting. This is how you switch between it. Three clicks. Red is the low setting. Green is the high setting. Blue is the medium setting. So that's how you switch between settings. You hit the button to see what setting you're in. If I put it into the red setting and I hit the button, it lets me know I'm in the red setting. If I put it in the green setting, I hit the button, lets me know I'm in the green setting. This is a draw activated device. 
also included in the packaging. You get an Aurora Play user manual. You get a spare juice bottle that you can use with the valve system I just showed you. You get a rather nice micro USB cable that's braided. You get a warranty card and you get another pod. Let's get into those cons and pros on the Aurora Play by Vaporesso. First con's gonna be, man, this thing can be a little noisy while you're using it, right? Because you're kind of banging it around, you're going up like that, right? It kind of clicks and clacks. I don't know, man. I mean, it's no big deal to me. It doesn't bother me at all, but I know there are people out there that that's definitely gonna bother. So I gotta point it out, okay? So far, Vaporesso only makes one pod for it. I think that's a mistake. I think if they market this correctly, they could probably sell a, you know, a bunch of them. And I think they should make some other pods for it. I think that would be great. So I got to point out that they only make one pod for it. I'd like to see other pods at different resistances. While I do love the filling method on the Aurora Play, you can only use needle nose bottles. You can't use glass strippers. So that's going to be a con to some people. You know, you're just going to have to, you know, put your juice in a needle nose bottle if it comes in a glass stripper you're gonna have to transfer it and then put it in the pod i gotta point that out this is a direct output device so the problem with that is as your battery life decreases so will your performance i gotta point that out as well but that's it inside is that's all i got for you on the cons let's move on to the pros first pro is gonna be man for a pod system, the flavor on this is actually pretty good. That's a pro. The drawer on this one is tight. It's like a really, you know, middle of the road type of mouth to lung, but it is a legit mouth to lung. Let me show you what I'm talking about. It's a nice tight drawer and the cloud production is actually pretty decent for what it is. So I got to give them a pro for that. Even though I had to point out that you can't fill this with a glass dripper, I love the filling system on this pod. I love that it's nice and clean. I like the fact that you don't have to take the pod out to fill it. Vaporesso did a bang up job designing that. I got to point that out as well. So far, man, this thing has been super dry. No leaking whatsoever. Very impressed so far with that. I like the look. I like the finish. I like the feel in my hand. I like the fact that it's pocketable. Pro. I like that the cap is always on. So even when you throw this in a pocket or a bag, you're not getting any lint in your pod and your drip tip or anything like that. You're not getting no nastiness in there. That's a pro, man, that this thing is always covered. The price point on this one is 30 bucks. And for what you get, I think that's more than fair. So I'll give them a pro on the price point. As I showed you before, this thing has a great drawer. It has the exact type of drawer I like, and I think the flavor is really good as well. The nice thing about this pod system is it does well with Nick salts as well as free base juices. You can run whatever you want in here. It'll vape fine. I like the adjustable power mode on it. That's a pro. And the last pro, and it's going to be a big pro, thank God Vaporesso listens, two pods in a kit. Awesome job, Vaporesso. So let's get into it, insiders. Is this one better than the OG Aurora that they released a year or so ago? Hell yeah. It's way better. It looks better. It feels better. The finish is better. You can see your e-juice in it, your liquid level. It vapes better. It hits better. So yeah, if you had the original and you liked it or you liked that type of concept, definitely go out and buy this one because this one is much improved. The Vaporesso Aurora Play measures in at 16.5 by 42 by 80.3 millimeters. It weighs 96 grams. It has a 1.3 ohm pod, 650 milliamp hour battery. It has a 2 ml capacity. It is an adjustable wattage mod. When the red light is on, you're at 9 watts. When the blue light is on, you're at 10.5 watts. And when the green light is on, you're at 12.5 watts. Great top fill pod system. It is a direct output TC device. Big shout out to Vaporesso for sending this one my way. Definitely appreciate the support, Vaporesso. Don't forget, head on over to our Facebook group. Join up right now and you'll have a chance to win a $100 coupon from Vape Wild. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you guys today.
You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces. Today, we're going to go over the top 10 pod systems. Now, last year was the year of the pod, without a doubt. And I know I tested well over 50 pod systems 